very concerned, very caring community. So we just try and provide them the most information and as up to date as we possibly can for them. And we'll give updates on the latest hurdles that could hamper crews containing the Lachlan fire in Bisbee right now. Good morning, Tucson. I'm Lydia Camarillo. And I'm Jose Sosaya. Again, we're still tracking crews' progress on stopping that wildfire in Bisbee. You can see the kind of work they're, they have been doing and are still doing. State Forestry says the Lachlan fire that started Monday night was caused by humans. It forced evacuations in neighborhoods northwest of Bisbee. You can see also which areas have been affected here on your screen. Evacuation orders have been lifted. Homeowners could start going back last night. So right now, a type three incident management team is leading a crew of 126 people. Right now, we're going to have people watching the fire overnight just to make sure homeowners in that area feel comfortable. And at last check, emergency officials want residents who are back home to stay on high alert and be ready to pack up and leave if the fire picks up again. So now we want to bring in nine of your sides, Tina Giuliano. She's been live with us in Bisbee this morning. Uh, good morning to you, Tina. So what can you tell us about the latest progress that you're hearing about this morning? And of course, any updates uh, that people need to know that live in the area? Good morning. Yeah, that's right. The smoke is uh, definitely a big thing that we're seeing here as well as flames. I just want you to take a look at the scene over here. Uh, the flames have died down here throughout the morning just a little bit over this ridge is where the rest of the smoke and flames are as well. Now houses are right there next to this smoke, like almost a few feet away. So crews are have been battling that this morning. That's been uh, the update is that there's been a flare up and uh, crews have been battling that uh, to get that down as much as possible. Um, and they sent crews um, overnight and now we're meant to be on a stet status, which means uh, to be on alert. According to crews, this is uh, me. Uh, a good reminder to residents to make sure that they're being careful when they're returning home, even after the evacuation orders were lifted. A local resident we spoke to, Danielle Bouchever, says the fires here in town aren't uncommon. The city of Bisbee is at high risk for fires, especially wildfires, but all fires, really, because um, it's an antique town. So, you know, the buildings are quite, quite desiccated, older buildings, um, many of them not up to code. And so uh, we, we really run risk from both outside the city as well as inside the city. Now we're still monitoring the progress of this fire. Uh, we'll have updates here on the air and online. Now setting it over to April. April, is the wind going to be um, uh, affecting this fire in any way? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it already has been uh, for uh, a little over a day now. The 